So, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna make a video. Basically, I make videos behind the computer and kind of teach stuff. But today I'm gonna make a video about the physical layout of this work. So, usually you just dress up in the morning and did like any other work, look fresh, and then come back to work. So this is my work right here. You probably be working in a small office or a building like this. Doesn't matter where you work. So this is how we start our day as a help desk or specialist and today I'm going to show you guys basically what we really do at work and what do we have like for example uh, servers or uh, like you know just like a physical layout of this work um, so then you guys can get a better idea okay okay so here I am in this uh, storage room basically what we call and I think everybody in IT they do have this kind of storage room where they put like stuff that's not working or probably some kind of like test now this is pretty messy here because we just took off all the servers that old servers we just took it off put new servers in there and then uh, just to tell you guys what like you know you you when you work in a support area you might have something like this where you basically keep things like little things in tag. so you have like boxes of old hard drive here but then you have other little stuff um, like you know all the all the things that you can use for like you know support and stuff so um, you you will see something like this when you start working and then you kind of have to memorize it where everything is um, this is basically like I say it's a storage room it's not the office where you do the first thing in the morning you basically go to your office and check your email and if there is any issues or phone that somebody sent a voicemail you try to solve that be uh, before you go anywhere else so um, I did that I didn't see any emails today uh, I'll probably might get it but uh that's this is kind of a uh, storage room let's go to the server room and uh, I'll show you guys we don't have to do a lot in the server room that's more of a server uh, engineer job so usually you get a server room like this and then you have all the servers stacked up here um, like you know, you have different servers doing different, uh, ser providing different services to the company, and yeah, you, you, you might have something like this, like a tape. Uh, this is a, a tape server. Basically, what it does, it, it's uh, keeping all your data. So as a help desk or a desktop support, you basically go in every week or whatever uh, uh, timing for you. It's like you know, whatever manager told you that this time you have to go in and change the tapes or whatever so you go ahead and change the tapes if you have some other methods of uh, you know store, uh, keeping storage you do that um, so this is a server room basically you usually come in here turn on like you know make everything organized uh, a lot of people keep this area pretty clean pretty cold so that everything is accessible you might be working on a port so for example uh, it might be one of the things might be uh, like if let's say you're working on a computer and it has a problem with like a no connection or anything like that so you have done everything from a computer side but then you can also come back to switches and check the exact port is it light is green or what's going on with that is it plugged in so you kind of check that from here too so for example everything is working till here still you're not getting connection you kind of make another you you basically escalate the ticket to, uh, to level two or network engineers you tell them that this is the port on this switch please check it out there's something wrong with it so they go ahead and they do their job but your job is to here you basically come in here everything is working uh, you might be doing something some wiring and stuff like that you also um, uh, like for example this is clean wiring right here but then this is like a messy but that can also be fixed so something like that you might be uh, working from a help desk side too um, let's go to another part of our help desk one job will be when you get you get, when you get your new computers and um, stuff like that. When it when it when it gets unpacked, you're gonna stack them together, uh, and you stack every L, everything else in one place. So this box has like all the CDs. This box has all this equipment. That box has all like the leads and stuff like that. So then you have you're organized, and you gonna you when you when you need it, you don't like you know it's not mixed up. So this is another part of a helpless job that you basically do uh, when you get new computers you do the whole setup and clean way like I said every help desk have their own storage and this is another storage that we have 
um, then when you get like for example you get a new monitor you stack them together and for a help desk you don't just put you don't just when if someone requests for a monitor you don't you don't just come here take one and then put it on their table or let's say for example a lot of people will ask for a second monitor this stuff goes through your manager so whoever is your supervisor you basically ask them for permission that this person is asking for a monitor can we go ahead and install it? and they give you permissions and then after that what you do is you pick the monitor you pick uh, whatever it's needed that for that monitor to be able to work you go ahead pick that and then you note the serial numbers on the back and then whatever system that you have to co to basically track these monitors you have to do that process so usually we have inventory system some people have a web base some people have excel access databases and then they monitor that stuff over here um, so you basically this is like the storage part of it and the physical part of help desk that you need to do if you get printers or if someone asks for projectors you have projectors here um, these are pretty old but uh, you might have new ones so you just take the projector out and and, and basically log it and in a system that, uh, that this person have this projector so when they when they the due date is over you send them an email that we want that projector back here are the old computers and basically what you do is you keep track you every time you get rid of old computers you do a sale or whatever you do with it you basically do it in a right way um, but you keep like you know one uh, one model uh, of that whole stack with you just in case something happens or you want to go back and do some research or like any, anything with that um, models because you might have some models laying down on your in your office area that if it goes bad then you have a replacement let's say if something is wrong with the computer you always keep a track um, of it so you put like a little sticky paper on it bad hard drive memory good and you just put that information in there uh, just to make sure that um, when you look at the computer and it's not turned on you don't have to do all that plugging everything and then you have like a quick way to find out what's wrong with this computer why is it here like for example that that um, printer is having a network issue so we just put a note in there now if I don't put a note on a bad monitor I will never know I might pick this monitor do all the physical work spend like 20-25 minutes or how, how much time maybe it's too many monitors and then I do all the physical work going up and down and then I find out that it's something is wrong with it just because I didn't put a sticky note see that can, can just you know waste your time or if there's another tech it will waste his time too so it's always good to put a note in there Okay, a lot of people request for laptops, so if you have something like a um, laptop loaning or any other equipment loan, you basically have a little safe or however you have a storage room that you basically go in there and then what you do, you take the laptop out and then you give it to the person and then you, like I said, you have a system, inventory system where you go in there, you associate that laptop with the user and you assign dates like for example, that loan date is from today to next Monday and then person needs to bring it so if they don't bring it in three or four days you just send them an automatic email or something to remind them that please bring the laptop back so you also have you also work on this kind of issues this kind of request uh, that way people will ask for certain things and then you assign it to them and then you basically um, ask them when, so when the due date is over this is also part of help desk job Sometimes you work on a, on a labs like these. Um, basically, you have labs, you have a lot of computers to manage. So in this lab, you have basically a lot of computers that you need to um, make sure that they're up to date. You have a projector in there, and uh, you have a printer, and make sure everything is working. This is another part of a help desk that they need to make sure everything is up to date and working. You may also work on something like this where you have a, like a meeting room, they have a laptop and a projector, they might give you a call that the projector is not working, so you have to basically play around with the projector and kind of know how to work it out, uh, check like the wiring, make sure this is plugged in, all that. So this is another part for help desk that they work on. You also have printers, 
we work on. Make sure everything is working, all the lights, no error on air. So that's what you do with burners. There's also a physical requirement you may need to go up and down a few times. Uh, users basically request for a uh, um, for a ticket there, like on a first floor, so you can take elevator. But I always take stairs because that keeps you very active. And physically, I think it's a good way to um, burn some calories. So you might need to go up and down a um, few few times in the day you know, to help out the user. And go up a few times. <laughs> so this is it. Make sure that um, there might be another, like, you know, working in offices or something like that. So make sure the office is ready. Like when, when a new person starts, you basically go ahead and put a computer in there. So that's probably it. There's nothing more physical than this. You might need to do some kind of project by wiring and stuff. So thank you for watching the video and I will talk to you guys when I start another lecture.